All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Um, my name is Peter Degnan, and I have the distinct pleasure and honor of being the president of the board of the Philadelphia Ronald McDonald House. Uh, I want to thank our governor, uh, Tom Wolf, for taking some time out of his very busy schedule to uh, spend some time here. But also, we have the mayor, Tim Kenny. We have Senator Vincent Hughes. We have Representative Angel Cruz. We have Councilwoman Blackwell. We have uh, Representative Robach. Um, thank you all for coming. We um, obviously have a lot of our staff here, volunteers at the house, fellow board members, media, uh, and we have a number of families who stay at the house who will be with us as well. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, obviously, this is a very important day for us. Uh, as you may have seen in the back, there's been a construction project going on for the last uh, number of months. Uh, and we're embarking on a very large expansion of the Philadelphia Ronald McDonald House. And so my, my compliments to the construction team, and P. Agnes and Ewan Cole and a number of other firms and contractors and subcontractors who've been working diligently to actually make what has been uh, a, a vision for a while uh, a reality. Uh, last but not least, and certainly no disrespect to the governor and the mayor uh, and other representatives here, but the two most important and famous people in this room are our co-founders, Jimmy Murray and Dr. Audrey Evans. Without their vision, this would never happen. Uh, as hopefully you know, Philadelphia was the very first Ronald McDonald House in the country. And from there, in the world, okay, in the world, <laughs> sorry, in the world, and from, and, uh, we now have over 360 houses in 43 countries around the world due to their vision. So it's just amazing that it all started here in Philadelphia. And obviously, it's had a big impact. So thank you. Um, we're here because we're at a very critical juncture. Uh, we are in a position now that we are turning away four out of five families who stay here. Uh, that is simply an unacceptable ratio. Uh, we need to expand the house and serve more families. Uh, many of those are Philadelphia families. Uh, we're, we're, with the thousands that are turning away, over 1,600 of those families were from the Philadelphia region that unfortunately could not stay at the Philadelphia Ronald McDonald House. Um, our demand for our services continue to grow. You know, with the quality and reputation of the hospitals here in Philadelphia, families from around the world are coming to Philadelphia to have their children uh, made well. Um, and so our demand is only increasing, and therefore, again, is why we need to build more. Um, you'll hear later from a couple of families who stay here at the house, but as, you, as they talk, I, I would ask you to put yourself in their situation. What would you do if, if your son, your daughter, was, had a serious, serious illness and required you to stay days, weeks, months? I think we had a family spend 266 days here, consecutive, um, recently. Um, how would you handle that? What would you do? How would you deal with feeding, the, feeding everybody, grocery shopping, paying the mortgage? Um, there's so much that goes on beyond simply dealing with the, the, the illness of, of a family member, but running your day-to-day -day life is, is really critical. And that's pretty much what we do here. We run the rest of it. Obviously, the hospital and the doctors and nurses are, are, are healing the, uh, the children. We're sort to healing the families, to making sure they can stay whole and deal with what well, obviously is a very, very difficult situation. Um, and so again, we need to build more. We're, we're in the process of a very large expansion. Um, we're going to try to double, or more than double, the size of the house from the current 45 rooms that we have today to about 127 rooms when it's all said and done. Uh, so it's a massive effort. Uh, it's a big challenge. Uh, but fortunately, we're up to it. Um, and fortunately, with the million dollars that we just received from the state grant of the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program uh, from the governor and, and, the, and the legislature, that's been a huge help for us. As I was telling the governor earlier, <laughs> as I said to the governor earlier, we'll need more. Uh, but um, it's, 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 a, it's a great start, obviously, and making a huge, huge impact. Uh, yeah, we don't let the, we don't open the doors until they leave. Um, so anyway, we do appreciate obviously what the governor has done for us. Uh, we obviously look forward to working with him 
and, and the mayor and others to obviously continue uh, moving forward with raising additional funds to really finish this place, which we hope will be done the first quarter of, of next year. So uh, we'll have a big uh, celebration when we finally open the doors, so we'll bring everybody back for, for that uh, great day. But in the meantime, we have a lot of work to do. But fortunately, we're well on our way to achieving a very important goal, so thank you. Um, with that, I'd like to ask the governor uh, to come up and, and say a few words, please. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. It's good to be here. Um, and I just want to recognize Senator Hughes and Chairman Roebuck for, for doing so much to make sure we, we did this project. Uh, they were great advocates, as was the mayor uh, and Representative Cruz. Um, this is really great to, to be able to have some small role in, in helping make this a reality. I want to thank both of you guys. Although I was disappointed, somewhat disturbed to hear that Dr. Evans didn't know who the Eagles were when you first approached her. <laughs> so she knows, she knows now. And I have a shirt with Dr. Evans on the I, back, number one. I, I, yes, I, well, I would hope so. I would hope you, because uh, Sunday's going to be an important day. But this, this is an important day, and I'm really proud on behalf of everybody in the Commonwealth to be able to contribute toward this project, $1 million. And, and the reason that I think this is important, not just for the Ronald McDonald House and not just for Philadelphia, this is something that we need to do as, as representatives and stewards of Pennsylvania's uh, resources. Uh, as Peter said, this is, this is a, an organization that really helps families, and there's some families here who are taking full advantage of, of this, this facility. Um, if this didn't exist, I don't know what, I don't know what you'd do. I'm like you, I don't know what, what you'd do. So this, is the, this was the first one in the world, and, and it, it has done remarkable things to allow families who are struggling with, I can't conceive, I have two daughters, I can't conceive of what parents go through uh, when they have loved ones who are going through what they're going through. And so this is just a small help to those families, uh, and, and the Commonwealth ought to be a partner in trying to make this kind of thing happen. So I'm proud to, to be a partner with you, and I'm proud that we have such, you should be proud, such great advocates in Harrisburg for you uh, and here in Philadelphia, uh, and, and I appreciate being able to contribute to this very, very worthy project, and all of the citizens of Pennsylvania, on behalf of the 12.8 million citizens of Pennsylvania, we want to say good luck with this construction project. Good luck with everything that you do. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I'd now like the mayor to come up and say a few words, please. Thank you. Um, I, I want to thank the governor uh, for his concern, continued concern and help for Philadelphia. I mean, I know you have a great affinity for our city. I know you're from York County, um, um, but you really do care about Philadelphia, and I really want to thank you for that. I, every chance I get, I say that because I think it's important. We've, we've, we haven't had, we had one governor from Philadelphia, but uh, the, you, 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 you equal him in your concern for, for, our, for our city. And members of the state legislature who get bashed around and beaten up for everything, um, it's always nice to see something like this come to fruition. So thank you for your hard work. I know you're all working the minority, and it's very difficult. I, was, I worked in the legislature for a, a period of time, and I know how difficult it is when you're not in charge of uh, committees and things, but uh, you're still coming through with, uh, with uh, what we need. And I want to thank Councilman Blackwell, whose district this is, and I will say it again because you'll say it before me, West is best. <laughs> And, and Doctor and, and Jim, uh, you're just, you're, you're doing God's work. You did God's, doing God's work and continue to do God's work. Uh, and I think what's wonderful about Ronald McDonald House is that it is a, it's a great symbol for Philadelphia. Um, it, it meshes terrifically with our hospitals that are world renowned. Uh, you know, Chop and Hup and Jeff and, all, and Hahnemann, all those hospitals that people come all over the world to see and to, be, to go to for treatment, to have this kind of, I guess, home for people, yeah, exactly um, that is, it's just a wonderful thing and it creates wonderful memories for people who have been here even though they're difficult circumstances. And I just want to thank, every, thank all the staff involved because you're all, you're all just terrific people who give, um, to give to others. And uh, yesterday was Dr. King's birthday and, and um, one of the big messages was you're really truly never happy unless you're in service to and serving others. 
Um, I learned that from the Jesuits back in the 70s when I was at St. Joe's Prep, and it is absolutely true. Um, and, and in the light of Do Dr. King's birthday, we need to continue to be a person for others all year long. And I know everyone who works here and everyone associated with, with this wonderful place does that. So congratulations to everybody. Thank you, and hopefully the governor will be back with another check soon. So thank you. Great, thanks. As I did mention, we're going to have, I think, one, maybe two families uh, who are staying here to talk. So I think, again, uh, this is what it's all about when you hear their stories. Um, so let me introduce the, the Spencer family. is Erica and Rich. Spencer. Good afternoon. Uh, we are the Spencer family. This is Mason. Um, we live in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, so we're really close. We unfortunately were one of those four out of five families that were not able to make it into the house the first request that we made. Um, Rich was driving back and forth and it doesn't seem like it's that big of a, a drive back and forth going on 95 but he was hitting rush hour traffic and construction was, was big going on when we were first impatient so it was very tiring on him. Thankfully the second time we, we made a request for the Ronald House there was an opening um, but we just truly want to say thank you to everyone for understanding the need that the Ronald House has because at a time when it was very tough for our family, um, we were able to stay here. We were able to be close together, um, which was so meaningful because you feel very disconnected um, from the world when everything is going on um, and not even imagining that something is going to go wrong with your infant. We didn't even know until he was about three weeks old. but. We are very truly thankful for everything that the Ronald House does, um, providing meals. Um, we were able to interact with other families while we were here, and it just was such a huge benefit to our family, and we are very grateful for everyone understanding the need for the expansion project. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, we're gonna have Jeff and Haley Bikos. Um, um, Governor, Mayor, thank and everybody, thank you very much for uh, coming today. This is uh, this house has, has played a very important and critical role in our lives, and I'd like to introduce you to my wife Liz and to my daughter Haley. And Haley just has a few words. Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming to the Philadelphia Ronald McDonald House today. I'd personally like to thank you for coming to the house to support the expansion. Currently, I am a senior at Central Bucks West High School in Doylestown, PA. After graduation, my plan is to pursue a degree in special education. One of my passions is to support the Philadelphia Ronald McDonald House. I would like to briefly share with you my story. It all started on July 5, 2013, when my dad was making breakfast for me. Within minutes, my speech became slurred, and quickly I could not speak. My dad took me to the Doylestown Hospital, where I had my first seizure. After a CAT scan and blood work, the doctors performed a spinal tap. The results came back with a white blood, with a white blood count that was very high and abnormal. The doctors all agreed that I ne needed to be at CHOP, so they ambulanced me the morning of July 6th. On July 8th, I had two more seizures. On July 10th, I stopped breathing. And then on July 17th, I fell into a coma for four months. After another spinal tap, I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease called anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. To date, CHOP has only treated about 50 patients and approximately 400 to 500 people in the U.S. have been diagnosed with this disease. It is a, it is a disease that we've never heard of. For the next 254 days, my family called the Philadelphia Ron McDonald House their home. There are very few treatments protocols, IVIG with high doses of steroids, plasmapheresis, and chemotherapy. After numerous treatments, I was not responding. At one point, the doctors were giving up hope and preparing my parents for a horrible outcome. Thankfully, I am making medical history and have sur surprised the doctors at CHOP. As I came out of the coma, I had to relearn everything over again, from walking, talking, eating, and reading everything we take for granted. I never imagined in a million years at the age of 13 I would be facing the possibility of, of death. Thankfully for the Ronald McDonald House was there for my family. As my dad tells me, it was the only stable part of their lives as they were in the hospital 18 to 20 hours a day. My dad lost his job and my family lost everything, all trying to save my life. Completely exhausted, my mom and dad would walk back to the house, eat something, sleep in a safe place, talk to the other families, and try to gain the energy to fight another day with me. My family and I will be forever grateful to the house for their support and comfort during this horrible time in our lives. At school, I have led fundraisers that have raised over $1,000. Um, I'm committed to do whatever 
I can to help the house. They have given me so much to help my family and others. It is the least I can do. Thank you for helping with the expansion as so many families need the help of the Philadelphia Ron McDonald House. Um, that's the essence of what we do here. Uh, obviously helping these families get through very, very difficult times. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for the help that you've provided to date. Uh, thank you for all the help you can provide going forward. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you, all the representatives. Much appreciate. I have a question for the Governor. Oh, I don't know if the Governor's taking that. This okay. is all script, though, Governor. It's okay. It's, it's nothing bad. Okay. It's good. Well, as we've all been told, this is the first Ronald McDonald House. I can't remember how many they are, but there are about 300, 366. 366 Ronald McDonald houses all over the world. So the first house was not here. It's about three or four blocks across the street. Fourth and Spruce. Fourth and Spruce. Fourth and Spruce. Right. 30, 32 Spruce. It um, belonged to, it was a sorority house. I think it belonged to Penn and um, I went to Penn asking for a house because I'd been working with Jimmy, we need a house. So, and I came over here um, and Penn said, well, not only would they not help me to find a house, but they would probably buy the house that I was looking at out under my feet because they needed all the houses in this area. Somehow or other, I don't know whether Jimmy did it or John Canuso. John Canuso might have done it. He rehabbed. What? He rehabbed. Well, and we, we, how did we get it first? So anyhow, we managed to compete with Penn or whatever or slipped under the rug or something like that. So we got the first house. And what I would like to ask is, you know, that is the first of 366, 366 houses all over the world. And it's here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Don't you think we could have a little plaque? <laughs> I think there is a plaque that's coming. I think we have a, there is a plaque coming but from this house. No, I don't want it. I don't want it here. I want it on that house. Well, you get your plaque. Thank you. Again, thank you all for coming. There will be a tour in about 15 or 20 minutes, so if anyone's interested to do a little backyard tour to see actually the tower going up, uh, we're happy to accommodate. And there's some renditions of what this, uh, this thing will look like when it's all said and done. So if you're interested, hang out in about 15 minutes, we're going to do another tour. But again, thank you all for coming. This is a great day. Appreciate it very, very much.